When it comes to helping out flood victims in Texas, Northeast Indiana is giving back big time. Several local businesses doing everything they can to provide relief. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson talked with some groups about what they are doing and how you can help too. Yeah, the images from Texas are horrifying. Some of these images on the screen were sent to us by a viewer who has family in Houston. Now, although we're more than a thousand miles away, people in Fort Wayne are really stepping up to help. For Austin Kemp, Houston, Texas has a special place in his heart. I was raised in Houston. I've lived in Houston since I was about five years old. He lives in Fort Wayne now and attends Indiana Tech. He's devastated by the videos and pictures he's received from family and friends. I have a cousin who's going out uh, on a patroller boat and he's, you know, rescuing cars, you know, helping people out, you know, rescue their belongings and things. And it's making me really upset that I can't be there. Kemp says he couldn't sit back and do nothing. So he's been a mouthpiece for the J.J. Watt Foundation. It's already raised millions of dollars for those in need. It's definitely something that it's a great foundation that I would love for everybody in Fort Wayne to support. Fort Wayne-based Protex Inc. will head to Houston on a mission to dry out 75 million square feet of water inside buildings. It's not through yet, but we want to get down there and get located and get things started. It's, you know, based what we're hearing, it's a horror story. Fleet Feet Sports is collecting shoes and socks to donate, and places like Community Harvest and Salvation Army are collecting food and other donations. People are concerned, and that's the great thing about this community. Uh, they always will help out and, and help their neighbors, and, and everybody sees the devastation. For Kemp, the outpouring of support keeps him optimistic in the face of tragedy. It's a devastating time for the city of Houston, but my community is strong. We're going to get through it. The big push is for monetary donations right now because items will have a hard time reaching families. If you'd like to donate to the Red Cross Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund, head over to Wayne.com. There's a banner on the main page. In studio, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.